Social value is really looking at how we, we generate worth in society. So it's moving beyond a simple monetarist approach to um, looking at the world and seeing the world much more as being what we value in terms of relationships, um, a, a real sense of um, adding something to societies and communities. We're talking much more about the complexities of the world, how we interrelate, how patients relate to services, how people value and appreciate the way that services are delivered, and also looking much more beyond what can be done to actually enhance things above, if you like, a, a simple baseline of financial return. Social value is important now because I think there's a growing interest in looking at things beyond that straight financial return and actually realising that the way that people value and interact with services is much more important in itself than just a simple monetary equation. Fundamentally, it's, it's really about stimulating a better understanding and set of relationships within that organisation. So it's moving the emphasis away from, uh, if you like, a funder perspective of how social value should operate to one of saying, well, it's, it's actually the organisation itself that is the arbiter and generator of social value. So really the, what the toolkit does, it takes people from looking at what their intent around social value is that's actually a difficult question. What are people really trying to do in this situation? How are they then trying to assess that? How are they going to measure and know whether they're improving social value over time? And that's very much what we feel is unique about this in that it, it takes a longitudinal perspective. It allows people to look at their relationships, the way that information is generated, and that really builds a sense of coherency and increases the, the, the generation of social value within the organisation.